And now we're talking about dads. When it comes to things most of them love, working the grill is right at the top of that list. Yeah, I know. I'm one of those uh, grilling dads. And I actually got a chance to catch up with Pete Maws over at Farrier's Hardware. He is their grilling expert. And he's got some gift ideas for all the grilling dads out there. And we are here at Farrier's Hardware out in Mill Creek where they have a whole lot of uh, grills for sale and grilling accessories here with Pete who runs the, uh, the grilling uh, portion of Farrier's. And let's talk a little bit about uh, the options that folks have for barbecuing as we get into the Father's Day weekend. We can go big, we can go small. Let's start right at the top with this baby. This baby right here is one of the larger of the uh, Weber grills. It's a Genesis Series grill. It actually has three burners and then this this color knob right here is actually what we call a sizzle zone. It's an extra burner in between. So when you're doing that that sear on the steak and the chicken, that's what that does. It makes a, a hotter temperature for the grill and gives you better taste and you're good to go. Well, let's talk about taste when it comes to grilling. Some folks love that clean taste of the of the propane grill, but other folks swear by charcoal. And I know here at Farrier's, uh, Pete, you've got lots of uh, charcoal grill options. Correct, right. And if you kind of take a walk down this way here, we have a couple different charcoal sizes, depending where you are. Small ones for, you know, portable grills for apartment size, stuff like that. To the larger ones, they come up to even, you know, almost four foot in diameter for charcoal grills that you can buy. So and you can add some technology to it as well. Correct. The technology is we have timers here that you can set on here that if you were cooking a, a roast or something like that. And it's also a propane igniter so that you don't have to use any kind kind of lighter fluid tubes, anything like that. You can actually just use the propane, gets the charcoal up and running, and you are good to go. But if the dad in your world already has that grill, they're happy with it. Grilling accessories are always an option, Pete, and I know oh. Farrier's has a, a ton of uh, those accessories. Things Correct. to make the grilling experience a little bit better and just make sure that the grill is up and working in top order. Correct. So first thing you want to do is always make sure your grill is in a secure place. Okay, you want to make sure it's away from the house so that we don't have any problems. We don't want to melt the vinyl siding just because right. we're cooking hamburgers outside. So you want to make sure that the grill is far enough away from the house. The other thing you want to do is make sure it's on stable ground. When you go to start your grill, check your propane. Go over, pick that tank up. If it feels like, get it filled. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're using charcoal, if you're using pellets, make sure you have enough that you're going to cook throughout the day and you're going to be fine. The last thing you want to do is run to the store in the middle of cooking something to go buy propane, charcoal, or, or, or pellets. Absolutely. And if you're looking for something maybe a little less expensive to get dad in terms of a grilling uh, gift for Father's Day, these accessories are some nice options. Correct, right, right. And we have a couple different things. First of all, number one, grill brushes. Always remember, get a good quality grill brush. We don't want any parts or anything coming off in the food or being left on the grill when you go to cook on. We have other things here. We have hamburger presses. We have replacement grates. We have jalapeno pepper cookers, so there's a little bit of everything out there. Whatever your taste, you know, even people that are vegetarian, these are the accessories that they can use on their grills if they want to cook. And you kind of, uh, you can replace sort of the, uh, the inside of your grill and kind of uh, almost make it as good as new for a whole lot, less, whole lot less money, it seems. Correct, right. We can go through, and here at Farriers, we do have a full line of grill accessories and parts. So just bring in the old part or bring in model number, serial number. We can get just about any part for any grill out there from cooking grids, flavorizer bars, burners, anything you would need, igniters. Everybody always complains. My little push button thing doesn't <laughs> right. work on my grill. Right. You know, we have the lighter, so if you don't want to deal with it, it's a grill lighter, you can use that, or we can get you the actual replacement part for your grill. Lots to think about when it comes to Father's Day, a grift, grilling a gift ideas, but Pete and the other folks here at Farriers certainly make it as simple as possible. So guys, yeah, consider those grills for your dad come Father's Day. It's a great gift idea. And here's a good idea. Smith's Hot Dogs helping us celebrate Father's Day by giving away a whole bunch of swag. Yeah, for a chance to win this Smith's Swag set, let us know how you will be celebrating Dad this weekend. Just leave us a comment on our Facebook page for a chance to win all this stuff from the fine folks at Smith's. We've also got a post up offering up free 